What's going on guys? Today we're going to talk about uh, some of my 3D prints that I've accomplished with the Ender 5s. I have two of them. It's a little update video to the other video I had of building them. So uh, I'll show you how the machines are doing, what I'm currently printing, and then I'll show up close shots of uh, several of the prints I've done and some of them I've done have also been painted. So uh, let's check it out. Alright guys, so here's my twin Ender 5s, and you can see here on the settings we're running the average PLA settings, the 210 on the nozzle and the 60 on the bed, and I am currently printing some metal detecting uh, trowels for sand that hook to the end of a broom handle, uh, one for me and one for my dad, we're uh, going on a beach trip. Um, this coming summer and we'll be using those as we metal detect on the beach so as you can see they're running fine um, the upgrades that I've done since the video the glass beds from Creality um, I just hold them on with paper clips at least two of them on there I move the paper clips around depending on where the print is landing on the bed um, you can see some residue on the beds there. That's leftover glue to uh, let the prints stick correctly. I don't uh, clean them very much with acetone or anything. I just uh, the, let the glue remain on there. I kind of need to clean them off, but the prints stick well to it. But uh, as you can remember from the uh, previous um, video to these printers. I installed the spliced in LED lights on the nozzles. Um, it's got the Capricorn Bowden tubing that runs all the way down and the all metal extruders and these are running with TL smoothers. So uh, on to some of the 3D prints that I've accomplished with these. Alright guys this is in no particular order and it may be a bit chaotic here. Um, but uh, this is an N64 logo that I printed um, using Hatchbox PLA. Just has a few touch-ups here and there to do and needs to be painted the true colors. But it'll look awesome on my computer once it's done there. And I've got my Star-Lord cosplay helmet. It's backless. I hang it on the wall when I'm not dressed up as Star-Lord and there's the pistols that I can unmount um, for the cosplay. I painted those. Those were my first 3D print that I painted. Um, it didn't turn out real great. You can see some of the lines around the jaw and up here some of the seam lines and stuff and it's missing the tubes that connect the uh, oxygen uh, things up here to the earpiece but uh, anyways there's an LED light inside the mask on the brow that I turn on and it makes the um, eyes light up um, I cannot see through the mask because those are reflectors like safety reflectors for your driveway that's what I use for the eyes but anyways, um, we've got the Princess Mononoke mask. I still need to get some white fur somewhere for that one um, to be complete, to drape around the top and the sides, but that was 3D printed and painted. All of this was painted with um, uh, folk art and uh, apple barrel acrylic paints. Um, this is a Daedric Armor bust that got damaged in storage and I uh, repaired it a little bit with some orange clay and he needs repainted and I'm going to touch up the uh, red highlights and all that onto that one at some point. I have Leon Kennedy from Resident Evil 2. Let me try to get it focused here. Holding a shotgun and he's on his own little pedestal. That is not 3D printed, that's just a store-bought quantum bottle there, but Darth Maul there was 3D printed. 
Let's try to get a close up here. How he actually looks. You can see some striation marks in his face when you get really close up. I used acrylic paints on him and then I spray painted him with clear coat to give a realistic kind of skin sheen to it. But that's uh, Darth Maul there. And then we've got Spiral Tower. It was just a 3D print I found on Thingiverse. It hasn't been painted. You can see it's a little rough around the edges still. I haven't sanded or treated it with anything. You can see though that you can see the details of the bricks and the stairs pretty well. You can get a really good definition with these printers. There is Darth Vader with a damaged portion of his helmet and his eye is showing. He still needs painted. He's just uh, spray painted flat black or gloss black right now. I haven't finished him either. There's a lot of projects that are uh, in process right now. And then I've got Finn's helmet. Struggling with focus issues here. Episode 7 with the uh, bloody fingerprints that run down the helmet from the movie. We've got Luke Skywalker that I have not painted. Mark Hamill. Um, this was done using ABS and it looks a little rough because it wasn't done um, in a very high definition. This creeper from Minecraft, the head comes off and on. You can turn the head like in 90 degree sections like if you want it to look that way or that way. But uh, yeah, I'm going to try to paint that like pixelated just like on the game. Um, here is Baby Grogu from The Mandalorian. He was done with uh, acrylic and then hit with some gloss um, to finish him up. Sorry about the lighting. If you guys can really make any of this out. I'm trying my best here. Um, and there's Mando. The bust. He's holding his pistol. I did him with silver acrylic and the base with silver. And I also used some black on him and brown and some red for the uh, Boba Fett logo there. You can see his emblem there on his shoulder and the blue arrow on his hand and his rocket pack okay and here we have a black Howl's Moving Castle all of those little details in there it'll be killer when this thing is finished being painted it'll look awesome you guys remember the T800 from the original video from these printers he's been finished with silver and uh, some um, see-through varnish we have a Hellboy a cartoon rendition of Hellboy holding his pistol in his giant hand there Back here we have the unlockable gun from Resident Evil 7, the Albert. It's got a huge silencer. That was one of my earliest paints too. It's not, not the best I've done. We have Link from Breath of the Wild done like realistically like if he was an actual person kind of thing.
he's still a little uh, got some imperfections that need to be sanded out and stuff still he's just right off the printer and here we've got Captain America's helmet that doesn't fit me my big head was too large so um, uh, I'm gonna have to reprint it at some point but it still makes an interesting display piece and that makes that's about it but probably my main uh, print that I'm the most proud of is my Majora's Mask replica painted with acrylics it's about uh, life size But yeah, those are some of the prints that I've accomplished with the Ender 5s. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it or would like to see some painting videos with some of these or some more 3D printing videos, let me know in the comments. And I'll catch you guys next time.